Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ, here to teach the truth. Who's the black man that went into slavery? Who's the black man scattered throughout the sub-Saharan slave trade, transatlantic slave trade, the diaspora, as the world calls it? We are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Who is Christ? The black Messiah, according to Revelation chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. All these things we're going to prove to you. Your churches don't want to talk about it, but guess what? We're going to talk about it. So join us every Monday at 8 p.m. Germany time. Shalom. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Isaac Jr. right here at Top Africa uh, uh, Live, Facebook Live. And tonight we are having, we have a show and we are going to talk about things that is necessary for us to know. With me on the show, our special guest, Bishop Nathaniel, who is uh, a bishop, the head, past the head bishop of the movement Israel Unite up in the States. Bishop, it's a pleasure to have you here on the show with us. It's a, it's pleasure, a pleasure to be, to be on. on. Thank you for having me. Wonderful, that. wonderful. How has your day been so far, Bishop? Well, well the day's the day going well. I uh, flew in from, from Cuba, Cuba last, last night. night. Oh. That's right. That's right. How was the Cuba event so far? Well, well we got we arrested, arrested while we went. Why? What happened? <laughs> wow. Well, remember, well, Cuba is a communist country. country. That is true. There's no democracy. There's no civil rights. There's no constitutional rights. They don't support the movement. Right. Uh, right. Uh, the Christian, Christian ministers uh -huh. are the, uh, the devil, devil the, Bible the Bible speaks of. Oh. We, we confounded, confounded them, them in the proving, proving that Jesus Christ, Christ is a black man. man. Uh -huh. not, not one, one minister, minister could, prove could prove Jesus Christ, Christ was Caucasian. Not one. Wow. 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 So um, I don't know how long you were arrested for, but was it a long period of time, or was it something that was just well, an well, easy situation? Only th three hours. They, they took, took our passports and visas. Uh, okay. They did a background they check, check on, on each of us. us. To see, to see if we were, were connected, connected in any way, shape, or form to the FBI or CIA. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. it came back zero. Interesting. Interesting. That sounds deep. I hope it wasn't. I hope it wasn't such a bad experience, though. No, 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 no. no. I, I needed that. It was, it was I gained experience from it. They okay. brought out a paddy wagon with about 20 officers with batons. Wow. They said we looked very militant when we were on the street. They said we spoke with such authority, they didn't know what to expect from us. So they brought 20 officers down to detain us. Wow. Wow. That is intense, Bishop. That is intense. Well, I'm glad that you're safe and that we have you on the show tonight, you know? Wonderful. Yes, so moving on, today's topic is you are not Africans, you are God's chosen people. Yes. That's intense. Bishop, how is that? Well, well the, black the black man, man and black, black woman, woman, Latin man, Latin, Latin, Latin woman, woman went, went into slavery, mm. who are the, the diaspora, diaspora of today. Of today. Mm. Suffering from the sub Saharan slave trade and the transatlantic slave trade. We are the Israelites, according to the Holy Bible. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Great. We now, fled, fled into Africa around, around 78. Uh huh. And we uh, uh, stayed, stayed there for about a thousand, thousand years. years. Wow. Wow. This is this the is history the most history people, people don't know. know. This is indeed a history a lot of people don't know. How are you? How are you doing your best to shed more light on, on, on this kind of history that a lot of that a lot of us black folks are not very much uh, educated on? Uh, uh, the, the best, best thing, thing is the internet, the internet uh, radio, radio mm. and of and course face to face, -to -face on, on the ground. ground. Mm. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Face to face, move on the ground. That is absolutely true. Now, Bishop, if you don't mind, last week uh, we left off on a, a very interesting um, conversation, which yeah. is um, a, a lot of us know the Breakfast Club in New York, uh, hosted by DJ Envy, uh, you know, Charlemagne the God and Angela Yee, and um, the great Dr. Umar Johnson. Uh, 
happened to be on. And we all know Omar Johnson has been uh, an activist, you know, pro supporting the black movement and stuff like that. And he happened to make a statement that had a lot of people um, uh, thoughtful, I would say. Let me use the word thoughtful. Uh, what he said was that any black man that stands or that tries to push out or try, tries to be a strong activist for the black community and is with a white woman is not doing the right uh, thing. Because as a black man standing for the black movement, you should be with a, a black woman. What is your take on interracial couples, uh, Bishop? Um, did he ever establish a school yet? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Did, uh, did uh, Dr. Dr. Johnson have established a school yet? He didn't. I think so. I think he's got the school. I think he's got the school. Mm, to Google, be honest. Google. Okay. Uh, Google it right, right now. Nah, that's what I'm about to do right now, Doctor a Bishop. Let's Google that. Bishop, I, I see you. You are able to Google with the Bible, okay? Yeah. And I will Google with the <laughs> with Wikipedia. Um, okay. Let's see. Wikipedia. Uh, yeah. Well, this, well, is, this why, is why, as I, I said, said, there's a media blackout, blackout on the Israelites. Israelites. Um, um, many people, people are saying, saying they want to do a school, which is applaudable, and, and I applaud any efforts to help unite black people. Right. Israel United, United in Christ. Christ. We have, we have 62, 62 camps, camps and uh, uh, 55, 55 schools. Wow. Throughout the country. And, and then the media acts, acts like, like boom, boom. we don't, we don't exist. exist. So that's so how we how know, know there's a campaign, campaign against, against us. us. Mm. Even the back back breakfast, breakfast club, Charlemagne and God, God all We've seen letters in. They know about all these radio shows, Isaac. Know about Israel United and Christ. And they say, oh, no, no, no. Don't, their sponsors say, don't put those guys on. Remember, they are Jewish fun. So there's a campaign against the truth. So they will never, they will put Umar Johnson on before Israel United in Christ. They will put Louis Farrakhan on before Israel United in Christ. Mm, mm. So are, are you saying, are you saying that uh, Jews are not, the, the Israel United is a conflict towards uh, the Jews? The white man in Israel today is not the biblical Jews of the Bible. They are Edomites. According to the Bible, the oh, enemies, enemies of God. God. They are they the are enemies, enemies of all creation. Okay. Get mad. Call your mom. <laughs> Bishop, this is this is a big this is a big bomb right there. It's a big bomb for a lot of black people that have been, you know, um, that have been so under the the Christian influence. Uh, to hearing this, in that case, Bishop, if the Israelites, the white Israelites that are living in Israel right now, are the Edomites and are not the chosen people, who are the chosen people? Well, well, the chosen, chosen people are the blacks, Latinos, and Native and Indians that went into captivity. captivity. And I can prove everything I'm saying with the Bible. You know, Isaac, we were called on a radio station in the South, and they told us, don't read the Bible. We said, but that's our foundation. They said, you will offend our Caucasian constituents. You are forbidden to read from the Bible. Talk to them, we're not going. Wow. That's what they do to us. Wow. Wow. Well, Bishop, this is very, very intense, but let's move back to the topic on what is your take on interracial, uh, interracial couples? Well, well interracial, interracial couples. couples. Okay. okay. You have yeah. the loving Lovely. couple no, no. of the 1960s. Okay. That was right. the first, first uh, interracial. interracial. Do you remember their name? Um, the, the, is it the one that the black lady and the white guy? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, they even had a movie about them recently. I haven't watched the movie yet, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. Uh, uh, we're going to go to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Uh, yeah, it, was it was Loving, loving versus Virginia. 388 U.S. One. It's a landmark civil rights decision of the United States Supreme Court. 
which invalidated laws prohibiting interracial marriage. Okay. Right. Now let me see if I can get their names. Uh bear with me. I'm on I'm on your friend Wikipedia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wonderful Bishop. Wonderful. Uh, Richard Perry Loving, uh Mildred Jeter Loving. Versus ah, Virginia. Right. That's the right. Mm, mm. It was argued April 10th, 1967. And uh, interracial marriage is very political. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is not biblically accepted at all. Many times people say, oh, God's about love. He's all loving. Have you forgotten the flood where God killed everybody on the planet? except Noah and his sons and their wives. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does the Bible say about interest? Let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and 3. I'm sorry, did you We're say incest? Did, did, did you say incest? I said interracial marriage. Interracial, oh, the Bible talks about incest interracial. Incest the Bible too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't know the Bible talked about, about or against inter interracial marriage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The Bible talks about many. See, that's how you know these Christians are phony, mm, Isaac. Mm. The Bible is the book of life. It covers all things. But wow. Christians mm. refuse to read it. They, they reject it. Now watch this. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Uh -huh. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give <laughs> unto his son, uh -huh. nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son mm. for they will turn away thy son from following me that they may serve other gods so will the anger of the lord be kindled kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly you see that so the bible forbids us from allowing our sons and daughters to marry people of other nations now that's just one verse but there's okay. many Okay, watch, Bishop, watch this. Let, I mean, yes. just hold on a second. Let me get this straight now, because this is just a verse that could be directed to any race in general. So yeah. why are you bringing this specifically to the black race? Because we have a problem uh -huh. of loving. Watch this, Proverbs 331. I'm going to show you what our problem is, Isaac. We have a problem called self-hatred. Watch this. The black woman was good enough for us on the slave ships. She was good enough when we ruled. Mm. But now, here in America, she's no longer good enough for us. Watch this. The book of Proverbs, chapter, chapter 3, verse 31. Mm -hmm. Envy thou not the oppressor. See the problem with the black man and black woman? We mm. envy the oppressor. Go ahead. And choose none of his ways. God says choose none of his ways. What have we done? We have envied them. We want to look like them. We want to be like them. We want to marry them. We want their holidays. We want their children. I can remember as a youth, Isaac, mm. black women saying, I don't want no dark-skinned man. I want high, yellow, almost white brothers so that my baby can have long, straight hair, so that mm. my baby can have blue eyes. Mm. That's what they used to do, Isaac. Now, that's here in America. Mm. I don't know about Germany. And brothers, most brothers that go to Germany, go to Europe, I, Isaac, I was going to Germany in, what year was it? It was about 1984. You know why okay. I was going to Germany in 1984? Because no, I wanted a white woman. Mm. Uh, me and my, we all got together. But the most I had other plans. I said, wake up, Negro. Wake mm. up. You ain't supposed to be going to no Germany looking for no white woman. You got your own black woman here. Mm. So now when my eyes were open to the word of God, watch this. Joshua 23, please. Verse 12 and 13. Watch this. The book of Joshua, chapter 23, verse 12. Else, if ye do in any wise go back and cleave unto the remnant of these nations, even these that remain among you, and shall make marriages with them, and go in unto them, and they to you, know for a certainty that the Lord your God will no more drive out any of these nations from before you, mm. but they shall be snares and traps unto you and scourges in your sides and thorns in your eyes until ye perish from off this good land which the Lord your God hath given you. So you see what the Bible says about interracial marriage? He says, don't do it. There'll be snares in your sides, thorns in your eyes. 
So that's why, that's why when you look in the media, Isaac, you see many black Hollywood actors married to white women getting divorced. Like Halle Berry was one talking about her white husband called her nigger when they was having sex. Mm. You have other black men mm. like Terrence, uh, Terrence, Terrence, Howard, Terrence Howard say he married a Japanese woman. She got mad at me, called me monkey man. And we're getting mad. Okay. Wow. You see soccer athletes playing uh, soccer. I think y'all might call it football. Yeah, okay. of course. We call them football. monkey, yeah. monkey, monkeys. Right. And the athletes crying on the field. Right. Big, strong black men weeping and sorrowing. But then they want to marry these people. You're crazy. That's why the nations don't respect us. I see and your guess point. guess what, Isaac? Guess what? Mm. Watch this. Watch. I'm going to hit you with something real heavy. I want all you listeners to listen good. I'm going to prove to you how marriage is political. In Jamaica, in Trinidad, um, in, where were we? In Ghana. Right. You have other nations. They can't get access to the land except through marriage. So what do these Chinese do? Japanese do? Sierra Leone, Libya as well. They go to these lands and marry the dumbest black man or black woman they can find and get access to the land. That's what they're doing. Marriage is political. Mm. But the black man has not figured that out yet. He thinks it's all love. It's love. Mm. How come, Isaac, you never find a rich white woman marry a broke black man? You never find it. Right. But you find rich black men while marrying trailer trash part white women. Why is that? I thought it's all about love. It has nothing to do with love. It's all political. You should no, <laughs> I'm not mad, Bishop. I, I see your point. I, I see your point. It's 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 very it's very uh, it's very clear. But uh, in today's in today's society, a lot of uh, people say that a love is um, is is a feeling. It doesn't come from a political standpoint. It doesn't come from any agenda kind of standpoint. It's pretty much because a lot of people also say that they don't see race. Uh, Bishop, there are so many people right now that uh, do say that, hey, black and white doesn't matter, and they don't see race. So if I see a person that I'm attracted to, I'm not attracted to, to them because of their color, but I'm attracted to the individual, and that's just it. So um, does that also affect this whole thing? Because right now, it seems like interracial copulation is, is a sin. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, as I've said, do check out the stats. You will never find rich white women falling in love with broke black men. Why? It, it never happens. It has nothing to do with love. It has everything to do with political advancement for broke white women. Because when she divorced that rich black man, she gets half. Do you know in the NBA and NFL, there are schools of white women who go there specifically for the purpose of hooking up with a rich black man. Mm. Then their marriages may last five years, six years, maybe mm. seven. Then divorce, and they got half the money. They have schools mm. of that where they train these black white women to go after rich black men. And then the sponsors behind these athletes say, listen, uh, Try not to marry a ghetto black woman. Mm. And that's what they do. So they, they, like when they have parties, they don't, they say, we don't want you to be embarrassed. Like uh, I forgot the brother who beat up his black wife on the elevator. I can't remember. Uh, Ray, Ray Rice. Ray, was it Ray Rice? Lewis, Ray, Ray Lewis. Lewis? Yes. Is that him? I can't remember. But I anyway, you have little either. incidents mm. like that. Because okay. black men and black women don't have or know how to get along. But the Bible is the balancing point. Now watch this, Isaac. Let me show you something. Mm. Give me Malachi, the book of Malachi, chapter two about rich black men. This, this is all you rich black brothers out there. Listen good. Mm. <laughs> Malachi chapter two. Let's start Speak at verse 11. Mm. The book of Malachi chapter two, verse 11. Judah has dealt treacherously and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah hath profaned the holiness of the Lord, which he loved, and, it, and, he ha, and hath married the daughter of a strange God. He married the daughter of a strange God. Come on. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this. You hear what God says? He says, the Lord will cut off the man that doeth this. Go ahead. The master and the scholar. And the, the scholar Why does it say the master and the scholar? Because as soon as the black man becomes a master and a scholar, he gets money, resources. He drops the black woman and runs for the oppressor woman. Go ahead. <laughs> Out of the okay. tabernacles of Jacob 
and him that offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts. So God is angry with that, Isaac. He didn't like it back then. He doesn't like it now. I and mean, we could make up any lie we want, but it's all love. What's love got to do with it? Nothing. <laughs> Bishop, in that case, let me ask a question. Um, why does this happen to us? Why, why is it that when the black man gets certain uh, status in, in, in society or certain thing, why does he feel like the black woman is not good enough for him? Why does he not, why does he run after the white woman? Watch, watch this. Give me uh, Titus chapter three, verse three. Let me show you the problem with the black man. The black man, the, the, the black man, the Negro is a creation the, created by the white man. We're like the Frankenstein monster. Mm. Read that. The book of Titus chapter three, verse three. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts. Serving diverse lusts. And pleasures and pleasures living in malice and envy living in malice and envy hateful hateful and hating one another you say that part Isaac and hating one another that's our problem self-hatred what are we reading the Bible we suffer from self-hatred okay if imagine Isaac could people say why does the image of Jesus Christ matter so much because that's how they were able to subdue us in slavery imagine a plantation with 300 slaves many of these men were six foot five 300 pounds of muscle mm -hmm. but you had one snaggle to white man had us all in subjection why and how they taught us God was one white man Jesus was white so with that belief in our minds, we submitted ourselves to them. And through time up until today, we still believe that dumb thought and we love their woman believing we have married an angel of God. Ha! You've got to be kidding me. You married the devil the Bible speaks of. Bishop, in that Get case... Get mad! Mm, no. <laughs> Bishop, a, a lot of... Hmm. This is this is deep. This is real deep. Uh, how do we change this for the, the black community? How do we how do we let ourselves um, stay with each other? How do we how do we do better? How do we stop oh, doing certain things? That's a good life? one. Mm. G give me a, a second Ezra about subdue your thoughts. You know what I want? Second Ezra in Apocrypha, yeah. chapter fourteen, I believe it is, around verse thirty-two, somewhere around there. Watch this. This is what we got to do. This is what we got to do. You got me? Bishop, if you don't mind me, let, let me, let me just continue my question as well, because um, yes, the, the reason why I asked this question, how, how do we fix this problem, is because when you speak to a lot of people that are in interracial, um, uh, interracial relationships, what they will tell you, when you find a black man with a white man, it's, it's, it's either the black man is, 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 is really smart, or he is he he is almost well up, or he thinks differently in society. And when you find a black woman with a white man, it's the same thing. Um, so it, who are left in the black community? It's usually those that are you know still just you know trying to you know live life and have fun and do all that. They're still loud here and there. That's pretty much what it is in most cases. So it's, it it looks like the white people come in the community and take the better ones. They select the better ones and take them out. How is Isaac, it? How it's does... all called divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. You've learned about that in school. It's true. Divide the best of them from mm -hmm. them so that way they will never stand up for their own people. Mm -hmm. Look at these NFL players, okay? Most of these NFL players who are afraid to not stand for the singing of the national anthem? Mm -hmm. Why? Because they've been threatened with their jobs. Do you know the third stanza of the Star Spangled Banner talks about the killing of the black slaves, the slaughter of the slaves? And these black athletes are forced to stand and pledge allegiance, fearing being fired off the field. So what they do, they get us and they give us money, which many of us lack the resources, and they put us and separate us from our people. Now watch this, Second Ezra. Chapter 14, verse 34. Watch this. This is what we got to do. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 14, verse 34. Therefore, if so be that you will subdue your own understanding mm -hmm. and reform your hearts. That's what I want. 
subdue your own understanding. Isaac, everything the black man and black woman thinks about, guess where it comes from? Mm. Television. Mm -hmm. You take away the television, black people don't have a clue about the world and what's happening amongst our people. Take away that TV just for a day. They'll be, our people will be lost. Everything we think comes from the television. So God says, subdue your own thoughts, your own understanding, and reform, meaning change your hearts, meaning you got to change your thoughts, your Ooh. thinking. That's why Christ said in John 3, you must be born again, meaning your thoughts must be changed to reflect the thinking and words of God. Then and only then will we be successful and be delivered in these last and grievous days. Wonderful, Bishop. You heard that, Isaac? Yes, I did. I yes. did, absolutely. Bishop, that's real powerful. That is real powerful. Well, we pray that uh, things will start changing in the community and uh, we will start seeing the light. Um, with that well, being said, yeah. It's only yeah. going to change when we make it change. Mm. Because remember, as I said, there's a media blackout on us, okay? This truth that we're teaching that nobody has ever heard, it must be pushed throughout the earth, Isaac. Don't wait for the white man to do it. We have Absolutely. to do it. That's Absolutely. why we have to learn and teach. Learn and teach. Learn and teach and apply what is written. Okay. You know what, Isaac? You know what somebody's thinking right now? Because yeah. I know on your listening program, you got a black woman Christian. Mm. A black woman Christian saying, no. No, no, that's not in the New Testament. They make a distinction between the Old Testament and New Testament. Let me show you saying the same thing. Second Corinthians, watch this, chapter 6. Watch this. Bear with me a second. I got to find it. Second Corinthians 6 and verse 17. Listen good to the New Testament for you Christian hypocrites out there. Second Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 17. Wherefore, come out from among them. And be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. You hear what God says in the New Testament? Come out from among them and be you separate. Our people reject that. No, no, I need the white man. I got to have his babies. That's our people. We are crazy. And you know Christianity is worse than crack. It's the worst thing on earth. Christianity is the world's bloodiest religion. It's worse than Islam, Isaac. It is because Christianity, not only did they enslave us, they changed our identities. They divided us. They conquered us. They gave us lie upon lie. But then the Christian, white Christians point the finger at Islam. Oh, look at Islam. They're a violent religion. Hey, you white Christians were the worst thing on earth. You are the worst thing on earth. Get mad now. Call your mama. <laughs> uh, Bishop, hold on. Let me... Um... Let me let me read some of the comments real quick. There's a comment. Well, I know from, they're mad. <laughs> a lot of angry faces are popping up, actually, Bishop. <laughs> yes, I know they're mad. Um, the truth hurts. I know, I know. Um, Solomon Lee Andre Benson Senior sa says, "Sounds like a low self-esteem." And uh, we have another one from Nana Asantua, uh, who says. Outside religion, I personally believe that a pure black relationship uh, works better because the social situations that arise can best be coped with someone of the same race, and etc. Um, I also understand why it seems offensive when successful black men couple up with white women. However, I also believe that we cannot expect to rise in this society if we segregate races. However, to say that God wants this segregation is pure blasphemy, false interpretations, and the reason why most people I know have stopped believing, or, uh, yeah, it ends there. And then we have another one from oh, Daniel's. I, just let me read know, the last one. That last one. comment you just made about God mm. doesn't want, did it say segregation? Did, what did they say? Yeah, segregation segregation okay let me read this through. you tell me what to mean read this deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 8 when the most high divided to the nations their inheritance when he separated the sons of adam <laughs> Listen, mm. what does that mm. sound like to you he divided the nations and separated the sons of adam mm. you see christians reject what is written they go by television 
that's what they go by. They don't go by the word of God. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop, it is intense. It is really intense. Let me let me go ahead and read some of the comments real quick. There's another okay. one from Daniel Siberi who says, all praises. I'm not sure if, uh, what, what, what that exactly means right there, but all praises it is. Next one is Raphael Judah bin Israel who says leadership is bringing that truth. All praises. Another one uh, from Kofi says preaching hate, huh? Um, you see that? The Bible's hate now. <laughs> the Bible's a hate book. I'm just reading the Bible, uh, Isaac. That's what I'm doing. I can see that. I can see that. Here we have another one from Yah Yaha Washi Ba Simeon Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the real twelve tribes. Mm. Wonderful. Oh, I like that. Uh, but Isaac, 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 Isaac. Yeah. Isaac. Look at. Uh, oh my, I gotta read this to you. Look at the book of Ezra in the Bible. Ezra, E Z R A. Chapter 10. And let me show you what God did. Verse 16 to 19. See, I'm only going to read the Bible, Isaac. Mm -hmm. We're going to read the Bible. Um, and you can interpret it for yourself. Ezra, mm. come on. The book of Ezra, chapter 10, 17. And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wives by the first day of the first month. And among the sons of the priests were found that had taken strange wives, namely of the sons of Joshua, the sons of Jehozadak, and his brethren, and, and Jarib, and Gedaliah. And they gave their hands that they would put away their wives. And being guilty, they offered them of the flock. But trust me. you hear what the Bible records that when we realized we were guilty of marrying women of other nations, we had mm -hmm. put them away. See, go read that and go, I reject that. And go into their own mind and, and, and say, Love, love, love. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and their love is garbage. They know the love of God, they don't understand what love is in the Bible. Let me ask you, Isaac. Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. According to the Bible, what is love? What is love? Well, according to the Bible, love is pretty much the base, the number one rule that governs us all. Love your neighbor as yourself. Have um, do not be selfish with love. It's, it's a very I mean, love is also a general topic as well. Mm, watch this. Now let's read what the Bible says. Read that. Mm. First John. Chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. You hear what the love of God is? Keeping, keeping the, the commandments. commandments. Mm. Christians reject that because they don't keep the commandments. They say, are we keeping the commandments? That's why you have incest, homosexuality, adultery, fornication, bestiality amongst all these Christians, and they talk about they got the love of Jesus. Oh, please stop it. I'm about to vomit. <laughs> Bishop, let me go ahead and read some comments real fast because um, they're intense. As we also have to move on to the next topic, um, here is uh, Yahawashi by Sidi in Israel that said that's right. We have another one from Athalia, Elish, uh, Elish Eva. Israel, who says, all praises my spiritual father, giving the word to the lost sheep. We have another one from Sarai Sifra, 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 yeah, Shifra, if I'm correct. Israel, saying our bishop is speaking the truth. Then we have another one from Akaziah, Akaz I'm not good pronouncing the name. Uh, uh, Israel, all praises to the Most High, bring it out, bishop. Kofi again did mention he posted something saying for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise from the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 27 to 29, the King James Version. 
Bishop, um, you know. before you say something on that one, let me read the second one <laughs> from Nana Asantua, who says again, quoting from the Old Testament, in this case, it's just as valid as the Second Amendment, amendment in the USA uh, in the 21st century, not valid in today's society. Oh, so reading from the Old Testament is not valid. You know, watch this, Isaac. See, that's what I tell you. Christianity is worse than crack. Watch this. Give me Matthew 4 and 4. About uh, don't live by bread alone. Yes. Give me that. Matthew 4. Let me see what verse that is. Bear with me. Yes. Matthew 4 and 4. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So remember, the New Testament was not written yet. Mm. So what words was Christ speaking about? The Old Testament. Mm. Watch this. Now, Isaac, you tell me if this is valid today. Get Leviticus 18. Watch this. You tell me, Isaac. I'm not that smart. Leviticus 18:23. You tell me about today. You tell me. Is this valid? Leviticus chapter 18, verse 23. And when ye come... Leviticus 18. 18. Oh, sorry. Verse, Leviticus 18, verse 23. Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is confusion. Is that valid today, Isaac, or should we have sex with animals? Is that, should, should we be having sex with animals? I know we should not be having sex with animals. Exactly. It, Thank it you. Would be, yeah. Thank you. You see, when you hear these evil, dumb Christians say the Old Testament is not valid, they don't know anything. Even in the Old Testament where it says, thou shalt not murder. Where do you think the governments that be get their penal system from? The Old Testament of the Bible about stealing, killing. That is based on this, the writings of the Old Testament. So tell these Christians, shh, just listen, be quiet and learn. Wonderful, wonderful. Bishop, this is this is really intense. It's deep. It's deep. Let's move on to the next topic, Bishop, which is also in the same in the same format. What is marriage? Bishop, you're Bishop of the Movement Israel Unites. For those of the um for those of the uh the new listeners that are just tuning in, um let's let's stick with the marriage first. Let's stick with the marriage. What is marriage to Israel unite? What is your take on marriage? Because uh, going from since we as, as Africans, according to the movement, are um, what's it called? Are Israelites during the days? You know, there were so there wasn't actually a monogamous, you know, ma uh, marital situation. It was very poly poly polygamous. So, is that something that? you know, Israel Unite movement allows or don't allow? What is your take on that? Okay. Give me First Timothy chapter 3, verse 2. Let's start there. First Timothy chapter, chapter 3, verse 2. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife. Jump down to verse 11. Verse 11. Even so, must their wives be grave, not slanderers. Let me see verse 10 about the deacons. Uh, verse 10. Yes, yeah. verse 10. Verse 10. And let these also first be proved. Then let them use the office of a deacon, being found blameless. Even so, must their wives be grave. Give me Titus 1 and 6. Titus. 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 Chapter 1. Verse 6, if any be blameless, the husband of one wife. So, Isaac, the Bible teaches one wife in the New Ooh. Testament. Now, when you read the Old Testament, when we had more than one, Ooh. guess what, Isaac? Not only were we in our own land, not only were we in rulership, we were in authority. We were wealthy. So we were able to deal with more than one wife. Here you go. Here you go in America, for example. You got a brother working at Burger King. 
a slave working at Burger King talking about he want another wife. You can't have another wife. You can barely take care of yourself. Okay. Mm. And what these brothers are doing today is not multiple wives. It's multiple hoes. Mm. Get hey, mad Bishop, now. Bishop, Bishop, let me, let me get this straight. Now, you did mention that a brother in Burger King um, is not, he, he, he cannot afford to have multiple wives. So is having multiple wives if you're, if a man is wealthy, if a brother is wealthy, is he allowed to have? Is, is it okay for him to have multiple wives? According well, to particularly here wife? in America, no, because the Bible says one. For, let me give you another. Let me give you the third scripture, First Corinthians seven and two. Listen, what the Bible says, especially for the women. First Corinthians seven and two. First Corinthians chapter seven verse two. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. Let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her, her own husband. In order for every woman to have her own husband, there cannot be uh, a, in a polygamous relationship. Mm. Okay? So the Bible is plain, Isaac. Okay? For right now. But guess what, Isaac? When the Lord returns upon the earth <laughs> and we get Back in our homeland, in power, wealth, and all authority, then we're gonna deal with more than one. We're gonna be able, and our minds gonna be right. We ain't gonna be crazy Negroes running around, treating people wrong. We're mm. gonna be right. Mm, 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 mm. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Oh my! So, uh, Bishop, another thing is how how do you perform? How do you perform a marriage ceremony in in in, in the Israel United? Uh, synagogue if i may put it or you know infrastructure how do you perform marital is it just like regular churches or is it very different uh it's it's different um we don't throw rice on people uh, <laughs> uh we just read uh tobit chapter eight which is the prayer of marriage and we uh tell the marriage couple to say the prayer together when they get alone um, and they consummate the marriage. The marriage is, you can see how today uh, women and men, they like to taste sexually before the marriage, which is out of order. You're supposed to get married first and then deal with sexual relations. So today mm -hmm. is backwards. Yeah. Look, Bishop, let me, let me read a few comments real quick. Uh, we have... Uh-oh. Yeah, we have um, Rabba Lael Yehuda, who says uh, A-P-T-T-M-H. I'm sure you would know what that means. I don't. All this praises is to the most high. Wonderful. Uh, for our spiritual father, Bishop Nathaniel, and uh, Nana Asantua uh, said that she is not a Christian bishop. Um, now who's, who's that? Who's that? I don't understand. Uh, that was the first one who had the comment on uh, on quoting from the from the Old Testament is invalid, just like the Second Amendment. Um, then we have another comment from El Eliana Odelia Israel, who says, "Bring it out, Bishop." We have Torah, but Israel, who says, "All praise to the Most High." Uh, bring it out, Bishop. And then we have Kofi again. Who says? Who quotes from the book of Numbers? I believe Moses's wife was an Ethiopian and a Moabite. Numbers chapter twelve, verse one. So there, Jesus Christ's ancestor was Ruth. She was a Moabite. So there, I'm not sure what he's referring to at this <laughs> moment, but um, I bet you hey, can understand hey, that. Tell it, brother. You don't know the. <laughs> Let me go on and read his comment. Uh, he says, the examples of Rahab and Ruth help us understand how God views the issue of marriage between those who are from different people group groups but trust in the true God. In the ge genealogy in Matthew chapter 1, it is traditionally understood that the same Rahab is listed here as being in the line leading to Christ. Thus, thus Rahab, a descendant of Ham, must have married an Israelite or descendant. Well, all righty then. So let's, let's examine this. Let's mm. examine. You can count 
on one hand, one hand, beginning with Moses, when allow, the Lord allowed Israel to deal with a woman of another nation. On one hand, Isaac, one hand. Mm. So we've read about mm, five scriptures, and believe me, there's tons more, where the Lord says, I don't want you men dealing with the women of other nations. You know what Negroes do when they learn the Bible? They search the scriptures to keep that white woman. They search the scriptures to keep a Chinese woman. Well, brother, keep that white woman, keep that Chinese woman, and die, nigga, die. <laughs> Bishop, Bishop, we are out of time, but here is a question. Here is a question. Here is a question. Is homosexuality a sin? Now, this is a question. <laughs> this is a question that we will definitely be tackling on our next show. We have to tackle this question because it is deep. It is very viral, and a lot of people want to know more about it. So, um, Bishop, I would like you to uh, to leave with your uh, to to let to end the show with your last words, uh, encouraging the people on on how to follow up with Israel Unite if they be interested to join the movement or know more about the ministry. Okay, uh, visit our website at www dot israel unite dot org uh homosexuality is wrong lesbianism is wrong just as bestiality is wrong it goes against when the lord says be fruitful and multiply uh the bible is about nation building the bible is not about destruction and the breaking down of the family but rather the building when we were in haiti isaac do you know how many white homosexual couples we saw with Haitian children. And I know they were stealing those children, okay? Mm. There is a political movement to destroy our people. And you black men and black women that sleep, you're gonna die in this, I'm telling you. Because there's a move against us. But wonderful. only those enlightened by the words of God will be able to see it. Wonderful, wonderful. Bishop, it was more than a pleasure having you on the show. And we are oh, definitely right. going to tackle this topic next week on the show, Monday at 8 what p.m. Topic? What Homosexual, topic? Homosexuality. Is it a sin or not? Oh. Okay. <laughs> we are going to talk deep <laughs> into it, Bishop. I. It was a pleasure having you with us. And it was a pleasure having your minister with us as well. Shout out to him. Okay. This is Officer Jalel, by the way. Officer. <laughs> Officer Jalel. God bless you, sir. Yes. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord all praise Christ bless all, all praise to the Most High. It was a pleasure having both of you in, and uh, wonderfully, we hope to get in touch with each other again next week, same time here. Stay tuned, okay. and have a nice evening to everyone out there. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom. Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel with Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.